Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So today's video, I thought I would show you uh, the HDMI Pi, which is this screen on the left, uh, working as a, an extension of my desktop. So basically, I've plugged the HDMI Pi into the HDMI port of my laptop, and the other end is there and it's set up as a second screen and the it's full screen because I've set the resolution to 1280 by 800 so it fills the screen nicely and I'm just going to show you how I can just drag this window across plop it there and then you can see effectively the same thing on both screens at once so if you wanted a second screen on your Computer, laptop or desktop, as long as it's got an HDMI port, you should be able to do that without any trouble at all. What else could we do? Uh, let's play a video perhaps? Let's have a little play of the video that went out a couple of days ago. Okay, so we'll stick that on the other screen, just for fun. Okay, you've probably seen that one before, so we need to play that and close that. I'll show you how I set it up. What I did was I plugged it in. And I usually find the resolution settings that way. And here on the laptop, if I zoom in on that, you can see you can see I've changed it to 1280 by 800. There was a range of settings it offered me, and one of them was 1280 by 800, so I took that one. And then click OK. I don't want to mess with that now because it's working really nicely. One person wrote to me asking if HDMI Pi could be used with uh, another computer, a laptop or a desktop, because he wanted to be able to use it for instant messaging or something like that without sacrificing the screen on his main computer. So for that kind of use, if you wanted to do something like that, it would be ideal to have a nice little screen to plug in to your other computers. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.